Cardam is staying on from a long way back this side. Volfat is edging over towards the near side running rails. Cardam is forced to switch. Keystroke is also staying on with Barbil the far side. But the Hackwood's going to go back to Germany. Volfat scores in the hands of Andrea Atzini. Casablanca Mix is at the last, jumped it really well, he lands four lengths clear in the plate, chased all the time by Royal Village, but the gap is surely too big. Nicky Henderson's won just about all of the big races, he's never won this one before, until now, Casablanca Mix wins it for Nico de Blonville. It's a great weight carrying performance, 11-6, and he won convincingly. Deep inside the final furlong and up ahead, it is Show Me, Show Me, now pressed all the way to the line by Betty's Hope. This is going to be close, Betty's Hope this time on down the near side of Show Me, Show Me. They've gone past together. Photo finish, photo finish. They hit the furlong pole, little grey challenge by Between Hills, the Blue Jack and Real Appeal, the rail. Mount Fuji, Roman Turbo is coming home strongly on the near side and the nose band as they run towards the finish. Roman Turbo is up to make it two from two here on another Classics weekend. Thought he'd go and run a nice race at the curve of the first day, and um, he duly went and obliged. So, which, which obviously stamped himself, stamped himself as a nice horse. You know, he usually mixed to do tend to improve for the run, which he has done. And as Romanized looms up on the near side as they run into the closing stages, it's Romanized back at his favourite race course. Will win the Minstrel Stakes for Billy Lee and Ken Condon. He'd run well in Newbury, and we were confident of a big run in Ascot and you know the brakes didn't come and we were unlucky that day but um, we just knew he was in good form coming into today. And this is last with a furling and a half to go and Frankie kicks on Starcatcher chased by Fleeting and Pink Dogwood inside the final furlong and the Kelly Gold Irish Oaks it's Starcatcher from Fleeting closing with every stride as they run to the finish but Starcatcher is another overseas winner of the Kelly Gold Irish Oaks for Frankie Latore and John Gosden. Philly's done nothing but improving and um, the vibes at home were good uh, you know, John is a great trainer and uh, he had a good feeling about it and uh, we talked to the Oppenheimers and uh, we, uh, unfortunately we had to supplement her so we, had, we put our neck on the block a bit. No. But we, we knew she was good enough to, to justice herself and uh, yeah, it was a good effort.